Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, I write this as 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power 1 minus. Also, here we have 5 raised to power x over 5 raised to power 1, then equal to 100 on this side. Then here, this is same thing as 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power 1, that's 5, then minus. Also here we have 5 raised to power x times 1 over 5 raised to power 1, which is 1 over 5, then equals to 100 on this side. That is, from here, we have 5 raised to power x comma, we factor it out, we have 5 raised to power x into brackets, here remain 5 minus 1 over 5, close brackets, then equals to 100 on this side. Then we bring this together as one fraction. This is 5 over 1, as this we have 5 raised to power hex into bracket. SCMA is 5, then 1 in 5, 5, 5 times 5, that's 25, minus 5 in 5, 1, 1 times 1, 1, close bracket, equals to 100 here. That is, yeah, we have 5 raised to power hex times 25 minus 1, that's 24, then over 5, which is equals to 100 on this side. Then here, we remove this 24 over 5 and multiply both sides by tracer poker, which is 5 over 24. Also multiply this side by 5 over 24. That is, yeah, this cancelled each other. And we have 5 raised to power hex equals to 100 times 5 over 24. Then, next step, this same thing as 5 raised to power hex equals to 4 times 25, 10 times 5 over, here we have 4 times 6. Uh, this here 4 cancelled each other and this becomes 5 raised to power hex equals to 25 times 5 over 6 which implies here take the log on both sides here we have log 5 raised to power 6 equals to log 25 times 5 over 6. Then we apply the power law of logarithm here where we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. That is here what we have becomes x log 5 equals to log 25 times 5 over 6. That is, this here follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b over c, we can express this as log a plus log b minus log c. That is, here we have x log 5 equals to log 25 plus log 5 minus log 6. Then here, we divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies that log 5 cancelled each other here. Then we have x equals to, we separate this into three fractions, and we have log 25 over log 5 plus log 5 over log 5 minus log 6 over log 5 which implies here yeah, log 5 cancelled each other and we have one left here that is x equals to 1 then plus here we have log 25 over log 5 minus 
log 6 over log 5. That is, yeah, also, you can write 25 as 5 times 5, that's 5 squared, which implies we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 squared over log 5 minus log 6 over log 5. That is, we apply the power of log room here. To come to it, we have x equals to 1 plus 2 log 5 over log 5 minus log 6 over log 5. Then here we have log 5 cancel each other to left here. That is x equals to 1 plus 2 minus log 6 over log 5. That is here. This becomes x equals to 1 plus 2, that's 3, then minus log 6 over log 5. Then here we apply the log change of base when we have log a over log b. This is the same thing as log a to base b. But this here we have x equals to 3 minus log 6 is 5. That is the value of x here we have. x equals to 3 minus log 6 is 5. Let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 minus log 6 is 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power. 3 minus log 6 base 5 plus 1 minus 5 raised to power 3 minus log 6 base 5 minus 1. This equals to 100 on this side. Then here we have 3 plus 1, that's 4. We have 5 raised to power 4 then minus log 6 base 5. Minus also here we have 3 minus 1, that's 2. We have 5 raised to power 2 minus log 6 is 5. This is equals to 100 on this side. Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m minus n, the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is here we have 5 raised to power 4 over 5 raised to power log 6 is 5 minus here we have 5 raised to power 2 over 5 raised to power log 6 is 5 this is equals to 100 on this side then 5 raised to power 4 5 multiply itself 4 times that's 625 then divided by this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That this a is equals to 6, then minus 5 squared, that's 25, or 6, this is equals to 100 on this side. Then we bring this together as one fraction. Yes, here is 6, we have 625 minus 25, this is equals to. 100 here. That is 625 minus 25. That gives us 600 all over 6. This is equals to 100 on this side. This is 100 over 6, as of course 100. This is equals to 100 on this side. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 minus log 6 plus 5 satisfies this given problem.
and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell and share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you in next class and bye for now